Everybody ready? Let's talk about it. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Janae, and I am back with another one. So today, we're going to talk about these three ninjas. Oh my gosh, they are crazy. So let's start off with this guy. His name is TJ Holmes, right? So this is TJ Holmes and his co-host, Amy. They are from Good Morning America. And <laughs> TJ, I think he's sorry because he's like a serial cheater. You know, he is married to this beautiful girl. And mind you, they were separated. I didn't know they were separated until I started reading the article. But they were separated and he's trying to make it seem like he's trying to get back with her. But I guess he's trying to keep that good guy image. But in the meantime, in the same time, he's writing letters saying if she stay with him for 10 more days, he's lucky. And even the signs that he's giving her, she's still sticking with him. She should have seen the signs. And not only that, but it's sad. Why keep stringing her along? You know you don't want that girl. Why are you making it seem like you're trying to make it up back with her? Don't do that to people. And she took you back and y'all trying to work it out. Come on, man. That's just messed up. That alone in itself says about your character. You don't want to be with her. Let her go. Let her go find somebody else instead of you playing in her face. But anyway, so he started messing with this other co-worker. Her name is Natasha Singh. And he used to mess with her before he messed with Amy. Her and Amy were buddies. Her and Amy were friends. And it's like, damn, dude, what is your problem? Now, he broke up with a, um with Natasha. They had like a three-year type situation. And he broke up with her. Now, he gets with Amy. And him and Amy. Amy's, oh my gosh. Amy is in another situation where she got with her husband now that they finna get a divorce. She got with him under these kind of situations like she broke up with her dude to be with him and now she breaking up with the <laughs> husband to be with this dude so it's just like yo what is up with these people you know tj i don't know he's just nasty a serial workplace dater and stay away from him because he ain't no joke and then to add insult to injury they used to go on double dates with their, their with their um spouses like, how can you do that? And now to find out that you're sleeping, you've been sleeping with this chick. She was invited to my house. She up in my face, grinning in my face. But she she has no cool. She's, she's a ratchet. Because again, she knew that that girl, Natasha, was sleeping with him. And Amy still went and went and jumped up on him. So she ain't loyal either. They both nasty and ratchet. I tell you, boy. Anywho, next we have this trash sorry behind Kevin Hunter. Kevin Hunter is Wendy Williams' ex-husband, right? Mind you, y'all know that he had got with that girl Serena, who they who he met through Charlemagne. Him and Serena been going for a long period of time to where he moved her down the street from where him and Wendy house was. Bought her house up the street from where him and Wendy lived and had her living there. He always had her living comfortably. You never really heard or seen Sharina do any ratchet side chick stuff. But at the same time, she was wrong for that. She's known for like starting up businesses, but they all failed for whatever reason. And she didn't really do nothing. She just arm candy. But like I said, um, him and her been kicking it for a while. And when he knew about her, it's like, I know about her. Just don't make me look stupid out here in the public. Okay. So Sharina ends up getting pregnant. And that's when everything hit the fan. Long story short, Wendy and Kevin had a divorce. In their divorce, she had to pay him some alimony. 
and there's a clause in their divorce where if she's not making as much money or she's not working, then the alimony stops. Can you imagine that? This dude is cheating on you. He done had a baby on you, made you go cuckoo for Cocoa Puff, and then you still got to pay him money? If that ain't the end of it, now this lazy, sorry dude, the alimony stopped because Wendy don't have a show anymore, and Wendy's not all right in her head. Wendy's like tripping, tripping. She's out there. This dude cannot pay his bills now because the alimony stopped. Mind you, was some couple of millions of dollars he was awarded, and he was getting money monthly. What was he doing with this money? He's not paying the HOA fee. My, you know, if you live in an HOA, if you don't pay those dues, they could foreclose on your house. Even though your mortgage is paid, if you're not paying your HOA dues, they could put a foreclosure on your house and you could lose your house. So apparently that's what he's going through. But the reason why he's a sorry arse dude, dude, go get a job. You and your chick, go get a job. You know, you just living off of Wendy money. You ain't saving none of that money for a rainy day. You just thought she was going to live forever and you could just have this money just rolling in over and over. You are a sorry dude. You too good to get a job? I don't feel no ways. I think it's good for him. I think, you know, this is, you dish out what, what he's dished now, he's getting back in. Get up, go get a job, you and that girl. Y'all too cute to work. Y'all too, I mean, what? you got a child. Y'all have a daughter together. What are you going to do? How's she going to eat? Somebody need to get a job. Sorry, sack of crap. And I mean, come on, he's suing Wendy because he wants the money instead of going to figure out or find something else to do. you rather sue her to try to get some money? Mm -mm. You get everything you deserve and you better downgrade, sell that house and downgrade and get you an apartment and y'all need to save that money because I don't think Wendy's going to work again, not in her state of mind. So this is the last sorry arse dude, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon, uh, you know, I feel bad that he's sick. For years, you've heard that he's had lupus, and now he's in the hospital because he has pneumonia. Now, I don't know if y'all remember that girl, um, Gina, too. And she came out earlier this year not too long ago, a few months ago, she came out and said she had the monster, right? And she was linked to Nick Cannon and Chris Brown. So I am wondering, because you know, she didn't know she had the monster until like years later. And then you see her health just deteriorate. You see how skinny she got and she just look, ugh. So I'm wondering, even though Nick looks healthy, I'm wondering if he really has pneumonia or if it's like effects of the monster. I don't know. But Nick, if it is, if it is pneumonia, cool. But if it's not, it's like all these chicks that he been laid up with, he got, of what, 11 kids or something like that? He had twins with Mariah and then like nine other women. All these women he's sleeping with. If it is the monster, all these women, come on. And I don't blame him wholeheartedly because these women know better. You know, come on, just for the for a child support check? So you could be, quote, fingers set for the rest of your life? And you messing with the, this dirty dude? Messing up everybody pH balance? I feel bad more for Nick's kids than him because he's a whole grown up. And I hope he doesn't have the monster. I hope that it's just pneumonia and he could get over it, which means you're not even taking care of yourself. How you get pneumonia? Any hoops. Nick is sorry in the fact that he has so many kids. He's at the hospital by himself and he's really sad. He's really just a sad person trying to make it seem like he got it like that, which and he don't. At night, I bet he's hugging a pillow and crying because he's lonely. He's putting on a 
facade. You know, he's putting on this persona like he's that dude, and he's not. I think he's just sad and lonely, and that's why he's in the hospital by himself. So, guys, drop down in the comments and let's talk about it. Do you think TJ is a serial workplace cheater? He just going to be getting with women in the workplace over and over again. You think Kelvin, he needs to get a job, him and Serena, no matter where it is, downsize from their house, sell their house and get something smaller so they could afford to live on their own. And what about Nick Cannon? You think Nick Cannon got the monster? You think it's more to his health situation than it is? And what do you feel about all these women that keep laying up with him and, you know, messing up their pH balance? Let me know how you feel. Talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.